Innovation underpinned by research and development has become a fundamental driver of the Irish economy. As we look ahead beyond the challenges of the last 18 months, the spirit of innovation to solve real world problems will be more important than ever. KTI was uh, very special to me. You know, one, one of our roles um, in Knowledge Transfer Ireland is to, is to really help encourage industry and make it easier for companies to access the great research and expertise that's going on in the third level. The first category this afternoon is Commercialisation Impact Award. And the winner is Royal College of Surgeons Ireland and Locate Bio Limited. This project is about the licensing of three late-stage regenerative medicine technologies from Professor Fergal O'Brien's group in RCSI to orthobiologics company Locate Bio. What the Royal College of Surgeons Technologies enabled us to do was really accelerate that path to the market and that streamlines our regulatory pathway for those products. And I'm delighted to be joined by Aoife Gallagher, Head of Innovation at RCSI. Thanks Richard, I I'm delighted to accept this award on behalf of RCSI, Professor O'Brien's research group and and locate bio. It's time to move on to our second award. This is the Industry Engagement Impact Award. And the winner is University College Cork with IPIC and Rockley Photonics Ireland Limited. The engagement with Rockley started with one project four years ago. It was a feasibility project to establish whether or not Tentel could deliver a specific technology. We established the Ireland office three years ago and currently we have seven full-time employees and two part-time employees. Congratulations and I'm joined by Sally Cudmore who's Director of Innovation at UCC. Thank you very much, Richard. I mean, what an honour, particularly when you see the excellent other projects that we were running up against. Um, it's a huge, um, I suppose, acknowledgement of the great project. Well, time for our third award uh, today. This is the Future Forward Impact Award. And the winner is Dublin City University and Inclusio. Inclusio is a new spin-out from Dublin City University that has developed a cloud-based software solution that allows enterprises to manage and transform their culture through equality, diversity and inclusion. I came into Dublin City University five years ago to develop and deliver the strategy for diversity and inclusion. What I realised is that there's actually lots of science behind this. Congratulations to you and I'm delighted to be joined by Richard Stokes, Director of Innovation at DCU. Absolutely fantastic, uh, Richard. Uh, we're delighted to accept that on behalf of uh, Sandra and her two co-founders, uh, Deborah Murphy and Arthur Labambo. And uh, I think it's a great recognition of tremendous teamwork. Now it's time for you to have your say in the People's Choice Award. And the winner is Technological University Dublin and Occumetra Limited. And I'm delighted to be joined by Paul Maguire, Head of Innovation and Enterprise at Technological University Dublin. Oh, I'm absolutely de delighted to, uh, to accept this, um, not just on behalf of TU Dublin, but also on behalf of James, Ian, Kate and the rest of the Occumetra team. I know they're, they're busy watching these awards in the Greenway Hub in TU Dublin in the uh, Grange Gorman campus, so um, I'm really delighted. I also want to pay recognition here now to two initiatives that you haven't seen here, but that the judges wanted to particularly commend. The first is the collaboration between Trinity, UCD and UCC in succeeding to get the second round funding for the University Bridge Fund, a fund dedicated to venture capital seed funding in the higher education sector. They got that over the line and they doubled the fund size and the universities are investors as well. This is really important for the sector. And Maynooth University, who's introduced the Spin Up Science programme, which offers a very fresh approach to developing future entrepreneurs. Well done. From industry, academia, from our very various agencies and the innovation offices, and of course, as I mentioned, our judges. I'd really like you to thank you for tuning in and for your continuing involvement. We can only achieve the kinds of successes that we've heard of today by working together and working for a common purpose. And I'm truly grateful to see that that's something that we have here.